Hello my friends, I hope you all are having an amazing day with the amazing blessings and with the amazing grace of God. My name is Dylan Sharon and welcome to another video. So my friends, today the title of my message will be The New Life in Christ. So my friends, in this video, we will be going to be talking under that topic. So without any further delay, let's get into it. So my friends, as I have said before, today the title of my message will be The New Life in Christ. In this video, we will be going to be reading a number of Bible verses that are under this topic. So my friends, in this video, uh, our primary uh, discussion will be the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 17 to 32. So we will be going to be reading those set of Bible verses and we will be going to be diving deep into those Bible verses. So my friends, without any further delay, let's start reading those Bible verses. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 17 to 32. The title that it has been given in the New International Version translation is Living as Children of Light. The verse 17 says, So I tell you this, and insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do in the futility of their thinking. We will be going to be continuing the reading. They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality, so as to indulge in every kind of impurity with a continual lust for more. You, however, did not come to know Christ that way. Surely you heard of him and were taught in him in accordance with the truth that is in Jesus. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to his neighbor, for we are all members of one body. In your anger do not sin, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. He who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work, doing something useful with his own hands, that he may have something to share with those in need. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs that it may benefit those who listen and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. So my friends, as you can see, the verse 17 says, So I tell you this, and insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do in the futility in their, of, the, in the futility of their thinking. My friends, you should not no longer live as the Gentiles do. You, you should redeem yourselves from the sinful ways. They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality so as to indulge in every kind of impurity with a continual lust for more. My friend, the verse 20 says, You, however, did not come to know Christ that way. Surely you heard of him and were taught in him in accordance with the truth that is in Jesus. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires. The verse 23 says to be made new in the attitude of your minds and, and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. Just like that, my friends, the verse 21 says, Surely you heard of him and were taught in him in accordance with the truth that is in Jesus. 
you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires to, make, to be made new in the attitude of your minds and put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to his neighbor for we are all members of one body. In your anger do not sin, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry and do not give the devil a foothold. He who has been stealing must steal no longer but must work, doing something useful with his own hands that he may have something to share with those in need. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs. My friends, you should never let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who will listen. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. The book of Romans chapter 6 verse 4 says, Therefore we have been buried with him through baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we so we too might walk in newness of life. Romans 8 verse 1 says, Therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 24 says, And put on the new self which, is the, which, which in the likeness of God has been created in righteousness and holiness of the truth. Colossians chapter 3 verse 10 says, And have put on the new self who is being renewed to a true knowledge according to the image of the one who created him. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 15 says, By abolishing in his flesh the enmity, which is the law of commandments containing ordinances, so that in himself he might make the two into one new man, thus establishing peace. So my friends, I hope everything is clear and coherent in today's video. So if you have any questions regarding today's video, please leave a comment down in the comment section down below. I will provide you with the answers. So my friends, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you today, tomorrow and always. May God bless you and keep you. May God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen.